Hello everyone, welcome to CC Fashion is my passion YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, or have recently subscribed to the channel, welcome on back. And to all of my recently YouTube subscribers, thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you and I hope that you will enjoy the content on this YouTube channel. And if you don't know, my name is CC, and this channel is about fashion, a little lifestyle, a little bit of home decor, and a whole lot of chatting. So today's video is a Shein plus size try on haul of dresses. So I'm gonna show you four dresses that I recently picked up from Shein. And if you don't know what Shein is, Shein is a China-based brand um, out of China, and they have clothing, they have uh, houseware, they have shoes, they have a little bit of everything. So if you have never shopped off of Shein and you wanna give them a try, I will have it linked in the description of this video along with everything that I show you today, along with the sizing and the price. I wear a size 3X typically, which is a size 22, 24, but with the China based uh, sizes, for Shein, I wear a size 20. And most of their clothes is pretty stretchy. It's kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I can wear them, sometimes I can't. And I just recently, if you haven't checked out the video that I did on yesterday that I uploaded, it was another Shein plus size try on haul, on haul with four dresses as well. So again, this is what this video is about. So this is kind of like a continuation of that video. All right, you guys, we're gonna go on and pop into this video. Don't go nowhere. All right, you guys, here is the first dress in this Shein plus size try on haul. It is really cute. I love the colors in this dress. You have orange, you have black, you have yellow, you have a little tan. It's really, really darling. I have seen this on Shein website for a long time and always wanted to try it. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna get over there and get this dress. This is a dress that is perfect for the shorter lady. If you are shorter than myself, I am uh, five seven. So if you're five two, if you're five five, you know, so on and so forth, this is perfect. It's not dragging on the floor. It's not uh, sweeping the floor when you're stepping over it. It's the perfect dress. This is a bodycon dress as well. Now let me say this, everything that I'm going to show you in this video is like the previous video, everything is summer dresses. Nothing for spring, but as I said, if you live in Las Vegas, Arizona, Florida, where it's warm, these are perfect for you right now to pick up. And then if you don't live in a warm climate like myself, I live in Chicago, Pick these dresses up before you can't find them and they sell out, okay? So that's another reason why I'm doing this video. So you all can hop on over there and pick you up some pieces and you're gonna be ready, honey, when that warm weather comes. Oh, yes, you are. All right, so let me turn around and show you the back of the dress. So the back of the dress has the adjustable strap and you can adjust it to your liking. You can pull it up, you can pull it down. If you are um, heavier chested, lot of room, lots of room. And it does have that stretch ability here, which I really like. It does have a peekable cutout. I do have on my high-waisted seamless stain shaper with this, but if you are a lady who just wanna wear some regular, um, you know, underwear with this, okay. However, it is a bodycon dress, so you know what a bodycon dress is. A bodycon is what? More form fitting to the body, which is gonna lay on what? All the curves, okay? It's gonna lay on all your goodness. So, if you don't want your rose, you know, tumbling on out of here and having this dress not look smooth, then you need to put on a shaper or some uh, compressed biking shorts something to just smooth this bad girl out, honey, because she is cute and she is fire. Oh, yes. Look at the colors. This burnt orange. And I left on these big black earrings that I had on earlier, but you can put on any earring with this. You can put on purple. I mean purple. You can put on orange. You can put black. You can put uh, beige. 
You put on silver. It's just sterling, girl. And like I said, here's the adjustable straps here. Okay, so I'm gonna walk out. And it does have seams down the side, so ladies, make sure that your seams are lined up on the hip line correctly. But it is so, so cute. And it does have stretch. And not a whole lot of stretch in the hips, in the dairy air, but, <laughs> no pun intended, but it has a lot of stretch here. So again, for my ladies that are more fuller here in your tummy area and fuller in the breast area, cute dress. Again, you can put on a blazer, a black blazer. You can put on a duster with this. You can put on a shrug, a shorter shrug. You can wear this anywhere. If you're a person that say, you know what, I don't know if I would feel comfortable wearing that to maybe church or to work, girl, pop on that jacket, pop it on. But I like these bright, bold colors. And ladies, just because you are a size 22, 24, 26, 28, 18, 16, 14, that does not mean that you cannot have some color in your wardrobe. We gotta come up out of them black and them browns and them grays for the summer. The big, bright, bold colors is going to be what's going to be in the season for 2022 for spring and summer. The lime green, the olive green, the neon green, the bright purple and oranges. Get you some color. Listen to me. As we get older, as women, we need to add color because the black, the browns, and the grays, we know that those are for the fall and the winter, and they tend to dry you out, okay? You need colors to brighten you up so you look brighter and bolder, and bright colors make you look young and hip, okay? So listen, put them away, pack them away, come up out that box, and get you in, get you some color. You need some color. Add it to your wardrobe. Do not be afraid to wear color because you are a plus size woman. That whole myth that we can't wear polka dots, that we can't wear stripes, that we can't wear bright colors, that's a lie. And it's from it's a lie from the pit of hell. Yes, we can. It's all about how you wear it, what you wear, and how you style it. And you still can look beautiful classy and sexy okay plus size women listen to me we are sexy we are divas we are queens do not downplay yourself because you are a plus size woman being plus size doesn't mean being defeated no come on y'all come on come on come on we need to come up out of them colors and get into some bright bold colors because it's what's in and it's what makes us look bright and vibrant and it makes us look alive. So get you some colors in your wardrobe. If you didn't do it last summer when I was talking about that, make sure that you do it this summer and don't be afraid. Now somebody say something to you. <laughs> Call me up, I'll deal with them for you, okay? Anyway, this dress is cute. I like the fact that it is, um, you know, halter top type of dress. I just love it, love it, love it. It's really, really, really pretty. And I love the way that it hugs all of what God gave me. Not what I bought, <laughs> but what God gave me. Okay, let me clarify that. It's what God gave me. Nothing that I can't, went out and got and nothing that I had surgically put on. It's all of this is from Jesus. Now, I did add some to it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you know, talk about Jesus doing it all. I put on some pounds myself. I, I did that. But he gave me this body. He gave you your body. We are beautiful. We are wonderfully made, created beautifully in his image. Stop letting people tell you that your body is a curse just because you got a big behind, you got big breasts, or you got big thighs, or you got wide hips. Ain't nothing about us a curse. Everything about us, if he did it, it's a blessing, okay? And I'm not talking about nobody who go out and do something to enhance 
themselves because that's what they want to do. If you want to go get you a butt, if you want to get your breath um, more, you know, vivo, or if you want to go get a breast reduction, do whatever make you happy because at the end of the day, it's about your peace and nobody else's. All right, you all, we're going to move on to dress number two. All right, so here's dress number two. Again, a bright, bold color, this orange. I absolutely love this dress. Now, let me tell you uh, what, let me tell you, let me back up. Let me tell you why I love it and why I kind of don't love it. It was a little confusing to get on because of the way that these straps crisscrossed in the back, okay? We'll pull the camera down some so you can see what I'm talking about. And it is a little big, you know, across here like some of the other dresses that was in the other video. But this was kind of confusing to get on because it crisscrossed and then you put it over your head. So it took me a minute to get these straps correct and put these straps in the place that they needed to go, okay? Now I would not wear these earrings with this dress. Of course, I'm gonna have on some big, bold orange earrings, okay? I just didn't feel like looking for them. But this is another bright color, okay? Put it on with some orange sunglasses, okay? Put it on with like maybe an orange lip gloss or maybe a more subtle lip gloss with this so that, you know, you're not looking like a big orange all over. But you know what I'm saying. Ladies, you know, y'all know how to style. Most most of you all know what I'm saying and how to style your makeup when you have on these bright colors. But this dress is really, really cute. It has a lot of stretch. The other thing that I'm not happy about it is right along here, it's got some material that kinda wasn't sewn correctly. So it's got a little bitty hole. And then I just got caught on the door, the bedroom door after I tried it on, got caught up in the uh, little catch thing where you close the door. So this just made it worse. It's already, a, you know, kind of coming apart. But it does have a lot of stretch. This is the kind of dress that you just pop on, put it on, and you're ready to pop out the door after you have figured out how to get these straps crisscrossed correctly and over your head. Because I had it all twisted around. It was, it was, you know, <laughs> this is how it's supposed to look. But I had it where it was all up here doing you know some everything so i'm just gonna tell you if you buy this dress don't come back talking about cc <laughs> girl i had a hard time getting in that dress i'm telling you it's not hard to get in it you just got to make sure that the straps are crisscrossed the right way my bra still showing that it's crisscrossed the right way and then it's gonna lay like it's supposed to lay okay it is a body kind dress, so you see that it is laying on my tummy, it's laying all on the goodness, the jewels, okay? All right, so you have curves like me, girl. It is what it is, okay? So it's not a dress that you can get away with just wearing some regular underwear, nope. You need on some biker shorts. You need on the Spanx. You need on something. Because another thing about this dress, this dress is kind of thin. Not, not real, real thin. It has a nice little weight on it because it's made out of cotton. But it's, it's, it's thin because it's a summer dress, okay? But not overly thin and not overly heavy. Not thin enough when you're gonna see your undergarments not heavy enough where you're gonna be hot and it's gonna be uh, uncomfortable, okay? It has a good weighted to it. But you you gotta have on some shape wear with this. I mean, unless your stomach is flat, um, you don't have no cellulite, no rolls, no love handles, back, you know, the love handles here, and I'm talking about the back, the back love handles, I'm talking about right up in here, then you can get away with wearing it. Uh, perfect example. I don't know if you guys follow IMJ, 
IMJ is my girl. IMJ is little, but she's curvy. But she ain't got no love handles like your girl over here, okay? So she could probably get away with a dress like this, and it would just fit her, you know, pull in her indentation of her waist. And if she didn't wear a space or any shapewear, she, she, this is the type of dress for, if you're not gonna wear shapewear, for a woman who does not have the excessive rolls as I do, okay? Even though I love everything about my body, but it, the truth is just true. But this dress definitely is for a curvy body. And it's definitely gonna pull in this waist, cinch in that waist, okay? But I will say this, ladies, the reason why it's cinching in my waist is not just because I have a small waistline or because my waistline come in, but it's also because of the type of shapewear that I have on. And this shapewear is a space, and you have not seen my previous video, if you're new here to this channel, and you have not seen that Spanx shapewear video, let me tell you, that video has a lot of views. And I hope that it was educational. I hope that it helps somebody. I'm gonna do another shapewear Spanx video coming up soon. But listen, it had a lot of views. So a lot of people watched it. You cannot be against shapewear when you're wearing these type of dresses. I don't care who get mad, it's the truth. It just does not look right without some type of something up under it to smooth it out. Again, unless you are tiny, like I am Jack, okay? But when you have all of these excessive rolls and folds, you gotta put it on. You gotta put it on to make it look and make it fit the way that it fits. It's just not going to look right if you don't have something on under it to smooth it out. And it doesn't have to be Spanx. That's like I said, it could be a biker uh, set for compressed, something that's just gonna smooth you out. You don't have to necessarily wear Spanx because, you know, that's what I CC wear, but you need something with this type of body kind of dress, okay? So it's beautiful, it's comfortable, it's cute, it speaks summer, it speaks vacation, it speaks, hey, I'm coming out because it is, sunny outside and I want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Bright, bold, beautiful colors. All right, we're going to go on to dress number three. All right, so here's dress number three. Another bright color. Um, This is kind of like that bright green, but it's almost on a, like a mint green. This is what this looks like. Look like. I like this dress. I really, really like this dress. This dress has a lot of stretch. It is in that rib material. Okay, it's the rib material. What I don't like about the dress is this. It has a cutout here, okay? So you know I have on my Spanx. But again, for those of you that have no issues or you're smaller and you don't have an issue with your tummy showing, go for it. Um, I happen not to have that, um, I haven't been blessed with being able to um, show my stump, okay? That, them days are long gone, having a flat stump. So I would wear it like this. I would just tuck it like so and just wear it like this. So you don't even see the cutout in this, okay? But it is really, really darling. It is really cute. Again, you see the, the rib here. It's very stretchy. Ladies, for those of you that are heavier chested, this is perfect because of the fact that it does have the cutout. It gives you a lot of room up top, okay? And you see that it's laying here, once again, on my stomach because it is a body kind dress and I do have on a thing. I really could use on something else to press this in, okay? Because you see the roll. You see my stomach. So this is why I say that you need to have on something, something to uh, smooth things out. I have a lot of ripples and dimples. I have a lot of cellulite um, in my thighs, in my, um, in my buttocks. 
So I can't, I can't go without the specs. There's a lot of women that can, but I can't. I have a varicose vein in, on, in, on this leg that, that, that is protruding. You know, it is what it is. But I try to, and I always try to camouflage the imperfections that I have in my body just because it makes me feel better. And I think everybody has to be comfortable in their own skin. Me personally, I just can't come out the house with everything tumbling and, and looking all not neat. I'm a very neat person and I, in my appearance now, I'm junky everywhere else. But when it comes to my appearance, I have to look pulled together and I have to look neat. That's just me. And when I see women, that have on beautiful outfits and they don't have on shapewear, it just takes away from the outfit. And that's my opinion, okay? That's just CeCe's opinion. You may not agree, you may agree. That's just how I feel. So, I like this dress. It's very, very comfortable. It does have stretch in it, okay? Um, again, but it is a dress that is laying. You know, on these curves, it's doing what it's doing because it is a body kind dress. Again, it's another bright color, okay? This really bright mint green color. Okay, it's getting a little dark here in Chicago. So I'm, I, I hope you guys can see it. I have my ring light behind uh, the tripod, okay? So again, it does have a cutout here, but you see the stretch. So even if you are a woman who have a bigger stomach, this would be perfect because you have all of this extra room. So I love it. I love cut out dresses because you can always, um, you know, a lot of women shy away from cut out, cut out dresses, me included, sometimes because they are just too cropped. But you can always put on a cami up under. So don't not buy a cropped dress or a crop top because it's too cropped. Put a cami up under it and that will camouflage and then you won't feel like, you know, you showing too much of your stomach. There's so many ways to do it. If you guys do not follow this channel called 10, Wear, 10 Ways to Wear It, her name is Alicia. Go on her channel and go under her videos where she shows you how to style crop tops. I follow her because she shows you so many different ways to wear clothing that we as plus size women or just women in general who are not comfortable with this, this new crop style seem to steer away from. So go on her channel. It's called 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm going to link it in the uh, in my description of this video. Go over there and go on her videos and find the video about crop tops and see how she styles a crop top you will be amazed and you will say, you know what? I'm never gonna steer away from another crop top ever again because she shows you how to wear it. So go over there, look at that, look at her styling tips on that and you will buy another crop top, I guarantee you. I love her channel, I've been watching her for a while. It's called 10 Ways to Wear it. And she's constantly showing you 10 different ways to wear clothing that we as women would steer away from due to the fact of how a shirt or a top or a blouse or an outfit is made, okay? So this dress is really, really pretty. I love the color. Again, it's that big, bright, bold color. Um, just adding color to your wardrobe for spring and summer. And you definitely can wear this dress anywhere. And if you are self-conscious about this back here, again, put on a duster. Put on a jacket, put on a shrug, if you wanna just cover where this dress is laying, because baby, it is laying, okay? It's laying on the curves, but it's doing what it's supposed to do because it is a body kind, form-fitting dress, okay? All right, you guys, we're gonna go on to our very last dress in this Shein Plus Size Try On Haul. Now, let me tell you, this dress, did not work for me, but I'm gonna put it on anyway so you can see it, all right? Be right back. All right, so this is the last dress. I'm trying to hurry up because the sun is going down. I got my, I have my ring light on, and I'm trying to give you all enough light to see this dress. 
I absolutely love this dress. You all know how I feel about the color blue. Blue hair, blue lipstick. Okay, what else? Blue nail polish. I love the color blue. But child, it just didn't work. Let me tell you why it didn't work. Didn't work because of this right here. It is too much of a gate here at the thigh area. If, uh, uh, let me tell you another reason why it didn't work. It didn't work because it don't have a whole lot of stretch. So when I tell you it's tight, it's tight. Now is it tight, tight, like tight, tight, uncomfortable tight? No, but it's tight. And I love this, of course, you all know that I love the halter dresses, okay? It does tie at the nape of the dress. I mean, it's, yes, tape, tape at the nape of the neck. I like this dress, and I've seen this dress on Shein for the longest and wanted it and never would buy it. Another very reasonable dress. But it's this, this, my space is showing, and it just showed too much of my ham hock, ham hock, ham hock, ham hock of a guy. I don't like that. I don't know. I they missed the mark with this one. And I'm gonna tell you this too. This drawstring, they laugh. See, okay, it goes up, but it don't come down. You, you can pull it up, but why y'all didn't make this longer so this could have pulled all the way down? What the hell? It, it just, this one, it didn't work. It didn't work. As much as I love the style of it, and as pretty as it is, it looks like a blue cloud. I don't like that. All you all had to do with this dress right here. All y'all had to do. All y'all had to do. You had to ask CC, I would have told you. You either could have did two things with this dress. You could have made this dress just all one, um, both sides the same instead of trying to give it a split. Or if you wanted to give it that ruching with the tie, why did y'all make this functional? Why y'all just make it stop right here? Everybody don't want to show that. I'm just saying. Okay? Everybody don't want to show that. Why are you just going to make a straight, maxi, body kind dress without this right here? And then this only is functional for pulling it up, but not pulling it down. And then you, 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 you. Okay, I don't know what the hell y'all was doing, but y'all messed that up, she in. And y'all need to correct that. And y'all need to bring this dress back again and did correctly, because you didn't do it right. And I was so mad, because this is the one that I wanted the most. And you know, it's always like that. The one you really, really want, that's the one that don't really, really work. So put it on with these blue sunglasses. I just popped these earrings on just to show y'all the whole blue ensemble that really didn't work. And then this is the back. Like I said, it, 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 uh, it ties here. Now, for some women, they don't care about that. They'll wear it just like this, okay? They'll be like, you know what? It don't look that bad. And maybe for some people, they don't. Again, it's all about your comfortability, okay? You girl just can't do it, okay? I just, I just can't do it. But listen here. Whatever floats your boat, do it. I just can't. I got too many dimple, dimples right there. I can't do it. So, this might be in the giveaway bag. Because it, 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 didn't, it didn't do it. Didn't do, it didn't do CC no justice. But it is pretty. The color is pretty. Very, very pretty, very sexy. If I kept this dress, I would probably wear it just like a swimsuit cover up. Or maybe I would wear this. You know what I would do with this? I would wear this dress on vacation where I didn't really, you know, I'm letting it kind of like all flow on vacation, right? So I probably would wear it on vacation where I didn't really care too much about um, 
looking all smoothed out. You know, if I was out on the beach, laying by the pool or somewhere, you know, one of my uh, YouTube subscribers uh, sent me a message saying he's from Aruba. I've been to Aruba once. I want to go back. So if I was in Aruba, there's that pretty, pretty ocean, you know, I probably could get away with it. But when I wear this out just to be going somewhere, no, because I don't like this right here. I don't like that, okay? So this is the last dress um, in this plus size she in haul. I'm just here to tell you all that this dress does not have a lot of stretch, okay? So please don't come back saying, Cece, I picked up that dress and it don't have a lot of stretch because no ma'am, it does not have a lot of stretch. Does it have some? Yes. Is it very stretchy? Yeah. So if you have a lot of curves, Okay, you ain't gonna get the stretch, baby, that you're looking for, but it is pretty. Very, very, very pretty in color. They just didn't do right by the big girls with the ham hock that they didn't do right by us. That's all. All right, so this concludes our Shein Plus Size Try On Haul. Ooh, look at that brightness. I got the ring light behind y'all. Ooh, it's bright. Mm, okay. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this part, kind of like a part two from the other video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have never shopped over on Shein, give them a try. You know, um, they're not my fave fave, but I love their lingerie. I've never tried their swimsuits, that's next. I'm gonna buy some swimsuits, I'm gonna try their swimsuits. Their clothing is just hit or miss for me. You know, it, it just depends on the stretch. What you do need to do though, if you're gonna shop off of Shein, uh, you need to know your measurements, okay? And because your measurements is gonna what is going to be the key in depending on what size you get. Please measure your bust, your waist, and your hips. Now, if you know your measurements, you will be okay. But if you don't know your measurements, get somebody to measure you before you go over there and buy something off of Shein. Because like I said, it's kind of hit or miss. The other person who does a lot of Shein hauls, and I want to shout her out, is Oh Oh So Me. I will link her channel in the description of this video. She does she in, she in, she in, she in, she in. Like I do ASOP, ASOP, ASOP. That's what she does. That's her brand. That's who she shops from. So if you want to try them and get a better idea of what she in is about, go over to Oh Oh So Me and look at her videos. And then lastly, I want to send a special, special shout out to my girl, Jill Stein. You guys know that the last time, not, not not the last time, but a few months back, I asked you guys to do the emoji uh, praying hands and hashtag Jill Style. Well, I'm back asking you all to do that. She has had another um, family member to pass. And I just want to send her some love. This is my girl. This is my friend. We get on the phone and we kiki key, key, key and we be ha ha ha. And I tried my best last week to keep her spirits lifted by keeping her laughing. And she said that I did. And you all know that I got a little comedian side to me. You know what I'm saying? But when we get on the phone, we really chat it up. So if you can do the praying hands emoji, um, if you leave a comment on this video, after you leave your comment, just do the praying hands emoji and hashtag Jill Style. Jill Styles, and I will link her channel also in this video as well. And I want to give a huge, huge congratulations to her because in the midst of all of that, she finally hit 500 YouTube subscribers. Congratulations, sis. She's been wanting a community channel on YouTube for a while, and she got it. So let, go over there and subscribe to her channel. Let's get her to eight. 800, 900, let's get her to a thousand. We can do it, okay? So I wanna give a shout out to her and I wanna ask you guys to please pray for her. If you believe in the power of prayer, pray for her because she's going through a difficult time. And we've all, 
all been there, okay? We've all been there. And it's just been one death after another in her family. So once again, if you can, if you don't even want to leave a comment about this video about the Shein plus size haul, just put the praying hands and hashtag Jill Styles. Praying hands emoji, okay? And hashtag Jill Styles or in the comment section, okay? Just so she can see it and know that we send in some love and light and energy her way, all right? So God bless you all for once again participating in something else I'm asking you all to do. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for coming back and looking at another CC Fashion is my passion YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to this channel, come on. Come on. Come on. You just sit back every week and watch your girl. Come on. Come on. Hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to the red subscribe button so that you don't miss anything that I upload. I upload every week, typically every Sunday, okay? I don't have an upload schedule. Honey, I just do it when I have the time because between this kid and this and that and the other, girl, I just upload. Just, just That's why you need to have a bell on, honey, so you'll know when, it, when, it's, when it's there because you don't never know when CeCe gonna pop up in your YouTube streets. You know what I'm saying? So hit that bell notification, all right? Hit the bell notification. I need you guys to give me a like, a thumbs up on this video. Please comment and wait, 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 wait. Hold up. If you watch this video and it has some ads on it, can y'all watch and see a woman for your girl so I can get a little, little coins? You know what I'm saying? A little jingle jingle over here. Well, I need you all to watch some of the ads. I know. Y'all be wanting to get to the video because y'all got to get the chicken in the oven, get the chicken out the oven, get the baby in the tub and out the tub. I know. But if you can watch just a couple of the ads on my videos, it would help me out tremendously, okay? It really, really would. So I know that was a lot. You like, girl, you would ask me to do this. You would ask me to do that. I know. I know. But you love me, so you won't do it. I know you won't do it, okay? So don't forget, hit the red subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and watch some of the ads on the video, okay? And don't forget, pray an emoji, hands, hashtag Jill Styles, okay? Thank you all again for watching. I'll see you on Sunday with an ASOF haul. It will be uploaded on Sunday. This video will be uploaded on Friday. God bless you. See you real soon. You know where I'll see you. Where am I going to see you? Say it with me on the next CC Fashion Is My Passion YouTube video. Mwah. See you later.